welcome to Coolant U, the 10-part series that helps you reach a higher degree of knowledge about engine coolants. Made possible by RecoChem, your partner in formulating solutions. In this video, we'll cover the fundamentals of coolant formulation. 1. Coolant chemistry. 2. Concentrate and premix. 3. Sustainability in engine coolants. Let's get started with the basics. Engine coolant is a functional fluid, formulated by mixing water and a material called glycol, along with corrosion inhibitors to protect metal components. Water is an ingredient in all engine coolant formulations because it's so efficient at absorbing heat. The thing is, you just can't pour in any type of water and expect it to perform over time. Engine coolants use deionized water to function properly. Tap water contains dissolved minerals, calcium, magnesium, and more. Inside a hot engine, these can deposit residue as scale on internal engine components. Over time, the buildup acts as an insulator and also restricts flow. Without proper circulation and contact, the coolant can't transfer heat efficiently. Left untreated, it can lead to overheating and eventual failure. Deionized water has these harmful salts removed, making it the right choice for coolant formulations. But water has a freezing point of zero degrees Celsius. At this Arctic research station, the temperature can drop to negative 30 Celsius. A coolant solution of pure water would quickly turn to ice, expanding inside an engine, causing severe damage to the block, radiator, pumps, and more. On the opposite end of the spectrum, water boils at 100 degrees. Here in Cairo, temperatures rise to 40 Celsius and higher. There's a bigger chance that an engine can overheat deforming metal, damaging hoses, and bursting plastic. Water alone won't get the job done. Which brings us to the second major ingredient of coolant, ethylene glycol. It's used in fiberglass, polyester fibers, and for antifreeze formulations. When you mix glycol with water, it both lowers the freezing point and raises the boiling point, depending on the ratio. A 50-50 mix, for example, has a freezing point of negative 37 degrees Celsius, compared to zero of water alone. That keeps this Snowcat's engine from freezing when it's parked in sub-zero conditions, ready to transport critical supplies wherever they might be needed. A 50-50 ratio is fairly standard worldwide. Less than 50% glycol is more common in mild climates. Extreme cold demands a glycol level of 60% or more. Beyond 70%, the freeze point actually increases, making it the upper limit. We've solved the problems associated with freezing and boiling, but metal surfaces in the engine will corrode from water and glycol alone. That's why all engine coolants contain a corrosion inhibitor package, a special mix of additives that protect metals, reduce foaming, and control pH. The corrosion inhibitor agents form a chemical barrier that protects the engine and cooling system as water and glycol age and degrade in the cooling. Depending on the metals and application, different formulations are recommended. Anti-foaming agents prevent little bubbles that form as the coolant circulates. Foam reduces efficiency by limiting fluid contact. The third ingredient, buffering agents, fight off acids by controlling pH as glycol ages. We'll talk more about corrosion inhibitor packages in the next chapter of Coolant U. Trace dye gives coolant its distinctive color. This provides a convenient way to detect leaks. Ethylene glycol is odorless and colorless, but it's sweet tasting. Pets are susceptible to poisoning from antifreeze leaks which is why a bittering agent is added to prevent accidental ingestion and safety. For coolant to protect an engine, all the ingredients need to be combined in a precise ratio. 
concentrated coolants contain increased levels of glycol and corrosion inhibitors. They must be diluted with clean, deionized water prior to installing in the engine cooling system. Typically, concentrates are diluted with an equal amount of water, but always check the product label for the correct ratio. Use the right amount of water. Too much or too little can impact the freeze and boil points, as well as reduce corrosion protection. Pre-mixed coolants are diluted at the factory to the correct ratio. They should always be used full strength. Don't dilute pre-mixed coolants. Engine coolants are constantly evolving. Propylene glycol is considerably less toxic and can be made from renewable sources like biodiesel and corn. Coolant recycling can reclaim ethylene glycol from used antifreeze through distillation and reverse osmosis. Corrosion inhibitor packages are evolving too. Some provide protection beyond a million kilometers, which reduces the amount needed for the life of the vehicle. Thanks for listening and learning about the ingredients that make up coolant, their purpose, and how to use them. The next video, Module 3, explains corrosion inhibitors, the primary difference between coolant types. Thanks for joining us at Coolant U, where you always reach a higher degree of knowledge.